Hello and welcome to Adelante Chicago. I'm Julian Cruz in for Lourdes Duarte. Thank you so much for joining us today. During the next half hour, you're going to meet the men and women making a difference in their communities. We begin with a young man here in Chicago who has turned pain into art. He's raising awareness about the lived experience of so many Latinos in Chicago's growing communities. His murals have helped people remember some tough moments for Chicago families, from the death of Marlene Ochoa to the case of Adam Toledo. He's painted a total of 23 murals that we're going to look at for this special exhibit today. He is here to take us along on his latest journey to help families heal. Milton Coronado joins us in studio. Milton, thank you so much for being here again. Thank you for inviting me, Julie. And you have uh, an event coming up, uh, Dia de los Muertos, of course, is November 1st. Right. You have a very special event going on that day. Tell us about it. Yes. So I teamed up with a great uh, friend, curator, and guest gallery owner named Delilah Martinez, who owns Vault Gallery in the community of Pilsen. Uh, we decided to put together this very special and unique type of event uh, where we showcase all these 23 murals plus some paintings that I've done of individuals who've passed away. And a lot of these stories, many of Chicagoans have heard of them. Uh, Maleno Show, as you mentioned, Adam Toledo, uh, Melissa Ortega, Azul, Mendoza, and a few others, including um, there'll be images of family members that I've lost myself as well. And we're also inviting the public to bring pictures of their loved ones, if they like, uh, for a special uh, moment in, in this, this evening. Well, that's wonderful you helped organize this event. This takes place at 2015 South Laughlin, and uh, the event for the public begins at 6.30 Correct. p.m. The first half hour is going to be reserved for these families. Right. This is probably the first time that oh. these uh, grieving family members from all these victims have gathered in one spot, right? Yes. Um, this is an idea that, I've, that came to me just recently, within a couple last months, and I'm glad that it's been uh, forming, quickly forming, rather, um, to promote it and put it together this way. Uh, from 6 to 6.30, we, I want to open it up just for the families of the victims that I painted. For the first time, they're going to gather in one place, meet each other for the first time, and get to know each other. And I want to have some special words with them as well for all of them in one place. And then from 6.30 to 10, we're going to open it up uh, for the general public. And again, this event is free, so no tickets are needed. Um, I've, I've asked some people from the community to come out and, and, and sell some of their uh, goodies as well. Um, so the people are going to have to come out and see what, what I mean by that. Um, a friend has uh, given his talent of music to share it as well, just to liven up the, the atmosphere and to bring some positivity and some hope again to, to the families. Now, is it a quarter century now that you have been painting? And, yes. Um, and this started for you when you were very young and you were just five years old and your mother passed away and right. that, that had a very profound effect on you. Oh, definitely. And then um, my father remarried um, and then my upbringing wasn't the best. I made some terrible choices um, like many young people do. Uh, but I was surrounded with individuals that stirred me and mentored me and helped me, uh, which is what I want to do now. And then eventually, um, my father passed away. He was killed in Little Village as well. And in 2016, uh, I finally had the courage to do a mural of him. And I saw the, the response from my family when they saw his mural. And something triggered within me. And I said, well, I would like to do more of this. And I did it for about three years. The following mural that I did um, was of Madeleine. And the response from the family, the response from the city was overwhelming. I received stories through email, through text messages, through Instagram messaging, Facebook DMs of just complete strangers just sharing their, their thoughts about what their responses to the mural. And then they would share their stories on how this mural helped them cope and continue to heal over a loved one that they lost. And so since then, I decided to step onto this journey and do these type of murals uh, to, just to give back to the, to the families. You're also very focused on young people. You are a pastor in addition yeah. uh, to being a muralist. Um, and the, you talked about teenage years and, and struggling with acceptance and, and that the kids are they're just looking for attention. Oh, no doubt. Yes. Um, and I myself was one of them, like many. 
Uh, but like I said, I had people in my life that never gave up on me, that prayed for me, that were there for me. And it takes individuals like myself who've gone through that, I believe, and even others who haven't perhaps, just to have, the, just have that love and that passion, and that humility to, to serve others and to mentor others, to just step in because even a little bit helps. And, you know, the, the murals that uh, we have seen you work on, we, and there's some video of you working, um, people have come from all over the country, all over the world now, to right. Pilsen, Little Village. You know, the vibrancy of these uh, murals, uh, it, it's bringing people to Chicago. Definitely. I mean, I have friends, even when I travel, right? Uh, I like to go check out murals and take pictures of the murals and, and just give some acknowledgement to the artists. And people do the same when they come here. They want to see these murals. Sometimes they send me messages like, where's this mural? Where's that mural? You're the artist, right? And I direct them to those places. I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there. But the event on November 1st, in loving memory from 6.30 p.m., uh, beginning, it'll be uh, at 2015 South Laughlin. That's 2015 South Laughlin. You can get more information on Facebook.